I want to go over some massage techniques for the neck. So this is to help with lines, wrinkles, saggy skin, and dry skin. And I'm 60 years old. I have finally gotten my neck to have the same level of moisture as my face. It was extremely dry before, so I'm really happy with that. I do have lines and rings around my neck. I've been a bookworm all my life. I've had my face down in a book. My first career was a freelance writer. So again, I had my head down in books all the time, but that's how it goes. I feel like I have improved and I'm continuing to improve the look and texture on my neck. So we're going to start with the massage and you need a lot of glide here especially if you have dry skin on your neck today i'm using levin rose jamaican black castor oil on my neck it's very very thick just make sure you have something with lots of glide you don't want to drag your skin at all so i'm putting some in the palms of my hands and pressing it into my neck and i'm going to put some on the back of my hands too because i'm going to use inner and outer surface of my hands so I'm going to start by pulling downward, slightly downward with one hand and going up with the other. And I'm lifting my neck. You can use the back of your hand, whatever is more comfortable. You can follow one hand uh, behind the other. and you can use fists. One thing I like to do for particular lines, this is my worst line here, is I sort of pull downward, lift my chin and flick upward and just kind of work on that. I also like a soft silicone brush. So a dry brush, works also you don't want to have anything on your face when you dry brush i kind of like this better because it's not as irritating but i'm getting lots of circulation and you can go over the whole neck so i'm going in an upward direction i have tons of moisture on there's no dragging my skin at all another type of massage you can do for your neck is wet towel just sort of twist it up and flick. This will sort of help beat moisture into your face. So I'm doing this lightly. I can still talk and everything. I'm not hurting myself. And you're going right up, um, going along the neck and I'm hitting the jawline. Another thing we can do is pinch. This is really good for circulation. And even though my neck is not perfect, it is way better than when I first started face yoga. The skin is much more tightly attached to my neck. And as I said, I finally got in my moisture level up to a place where I'm really happy about it. And I'll show you some tricks about moisturizing the neck in another video. And then whenever you finish your neck massage, you always have to finish in a downward motion. Fingers light as a feather, going down, guiding lymph down and out of the neck. So you can do this in many different ways, but you just wanna be feather light. I'm barely brushing the surface of the skin. I'm gonna pump the collarbones a little bit, just help that lymph move on and out of my body. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day, bye-bye.